All right, I just want to give you the lowdown on what's going down right now. I am in transit from my home here in Jackson, Michigan, a little bit on the northern side of town, and I'm heading down to uh, the Cascades area, Ella Sharp Park area, a little more southern part of Jackson. What am I doing, you might ask? Well, I'm glad you asked because today is a very special day. You see, for over a year, I've been looking forward to this day in great anticipation for a custom-made, get this, custom-made Ziegenfuss acoustic guitar. And today, I hear um, it made its first strums with strings on it. Now, it's not totally complete um, because it's got pickups to be put on it and stuff like that, but today is the first day it's been making noise, so I am zipping over to Steven Ziegenfuss's house today, right now. I'm heading over there to hear it for the first time, so stay tuned. You're gonna get you're gonna get a chance to see this in action. Hold on to your seat belts and your socks and everything else. You are going to be blown away by what you're about to see, my friend. We are pulling in to the neighborhood. There's there's Ziegenfuss's house right over there. It's where it all began, ladies and gentlemen. Right in the basement of this house. Ziegenfuss Guitars. By the time you're watching this, Ziegenfuss Guitars is probably worldwide. And uh, this is just a glimpse of one of Steven's first acoustics. He's made, I don't know, I'll have to ask him, somewhere around 6 to 10 so far. And so I have one of the first... So one day it'll probably be worth like a billion dollars at least. Where do you see this baby? Oh, come on. Word. Well, I'm documenting this whole thing. This is uh, incredible. Hello. <laughs> he comes in armed with his camera. Yeah, I just have to see. I mean, this is my first glimpse at this. <laughs> one of the one of the first one of the first acoustics that Steven Ziegenfuss made. How many have you made so far, Stephen? Uh, this is five or six. This is like the fifth or sixth one. And again, by the time you're watching this, Zingfu's guitar is probably worldwide. So this guitar right here is one of the first that Stephen made that is like not very glossy. Yeah. Describe yeah. that in technical terms. This is the first satin finish. <laughs> so yeah. not Satan. The first. <laughs> yes. It might be tuned a little low, but you come in and sit down and play it. We gotta capture this first strum. Yeah. You have to realize that it's kind of barky right now. I'm turning the light on it. Did I mention I haven't strummed this yet ever? <laughs> Did, just so the camera knows, this guitar has literally been strung up for a half hour. One half hour. Okay. Of perfection. So it's, I almost feel like this is a holy moment. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is like, this is like, uh, Dave, do you have a pick on you? I don't. Tony, just let him do what he wants. It's his guitar. Yeah, well, I mean, this, this is like, maybe I shouldn't record this because this is like, epic. A virgin moment. You know? <laughs> I can stop. I see a pause button. <laughs> it's almost like no, but we that have moment. to. This yeah. is the marriage night. Yeah, this is consummation the... of the relationship. Exactly, consummation <laughs> is happening right now. It's better to think of it as if it was a newborn baby. I yeah, mean, I like <laughs> newborn baby. There we go. That's that's better. No, that's a newborn baby. <laughs> this, however, is a guitar. What note, what chord should I play for it being the first chord? I don't know, maybe you should check to make sure it's in tune. <laughs> this is a really bad sitcom. Should be, should be close. I'll do one of, I'll do one of my favorite chords. This is an E 
I hope it's terrible. (laughs) I hope it's just epically terrible. Epically out of tune. I'm really tempted to do that right now. There's one of my least favorite chords. It's not even a chord, it's just, it like gives you the E. I'll have to play it in a sec, because I wouldn't do that on the first strum. Ooh. Uh Rings for a long time. Still going. Yeah, I'm gonna go get you a pick. Is there a pick by Adam Blanc? Oh. <laughs> nice. She does sing forever. <laughs> wanted to see if it woke her up. <laughs> like, <laughs> she'll sleep through anything. Even that. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh my word. Dude, this is it. This is the... How, how do you feel about here's the finish? A, here's a question. Does it even... You asked about a clear pick guard? Yeah. Do we even have to put a pick guard on it? Um... Is that kind of necessary? Yeah, it's not necessary. I'm just because it looks so. Mm-hmm. Clean, I'm just nervous you know? with the, the thinness of the top. But you know, one day it'd be like, it'd be, uh, you know, get all those pick marks. And yeah. I, I like that. You know? Well, it'll definitely have pick marks. Mm. Like you'll over ten years you'll wear through that finish. Are you still looking for a pick? Yes, I got one. Ha! <laughs> oh, yes! Clayton! 63 millimeter, baby. Triangle. You wanna hold it? Yes. And just so the camera knows, this is the worst his guitar will ever sound. Just so the camera knows. This is going on YouTube, baby. Dude, I'm in love. Awesome. 